Welcome to ITU Telecom World 2017 and we're here in Busan, South Korea with Mark Fankapanoli who is Global Head of Government Relations for Nokia. Mark, thank you very much indeed for being with us today. Thanks for having me. Now, I'd like to start off by asking you about uh, smart digital transformation, the theme of this year's event. What does it mean to you? Well, you know, smart uh, digital transformation is in fact uh, very much related to the fourth industrial revolution. And uh, up to now we had uh, a couple of those. I mean, you, we had the first uh, industrial revolution, which was about uh, making uh, hand production towards mechanization. And then we had the second industrial revolution, which was about mass production. The third one brought IT into processes, was very much uh, about efficiency. And now in the fourth one, we actually get uh, digitalization across all sectors. So the potential is huge because uh, it can really bring benefits uh, for society, for the economy, but also for uh, the environment. Uh, as you have heard, we have smart uh, um, uh, transport, we have smart energy, we have smart cities. So a lot of use cases can actually appear. And I think that actually the opportunity is only limited by our imagination. What is the single greatest opportunity in your opinion of the smart era? I think if you look at the smart area, it's, it's, it's a lot about Internet of Things. And Internet of Things creates a lot of data. So there is a generation of massive amount of data. This data gets analyzed and then out of that you can get insights. And then with artificial intelligence, you can actually impact the way decisions are being made. And I think the big opportunity is that the data sets coming from the vertical sectors can actually get merged at a higher level. So that, for instance, you can merge data coming from the transport together with data coming from the um, uh, environment pollution and then bringing that together to take decisions on, for instance, when to drive, what is the best way in order to optimize both uh, the time to travel as well as uh, the pollution. That's great. So very positive elements there. Can we, uh, in terms of uh, future connected devices, uh, can we talk about those? Will they work for users and not against them? And perhaps could security concerns slow down the digital economy? Well, I think that uh, trust uh, is absolutely uh, uh, essential. And so making sure that we master cybersecurity uh, solutions as well. Uh, you know, again, with the Internet of Things, we have massive amount of devices. We usually talk about 50 to uh, 100 billion of devices by 2020 connected. Uh, so all these can, of course, create a lot of uh, potential security breaches. So uh, awareness of, of the end user is critical. Um, it is important that we have security by design but also that we embed security in all parts of the value chain because as you know a chain is just as solid as, as the weakest link. So yes, cyber security critical to address in a solid matter. And can you tell us about uh, your role in the Broadband Commission Digital Scorecard on enabling the digital future, something which has just recently been, uh, been published? Yeah, absolutely. So Nokia, our CEO, was actually chairing a working group within the, the Broadband Commission uh, to look at the policy and regulatory readiness of vertical sectors to digitalize. Uh, in fact, the rationale is when, when you look at digitalization, uh, most of the people think about uh, technology or about um, uh, policies that relate to telecom and data but not directly linked to what are incumbent regulations in vertical sectors that can actually inhibit or even accelerate digitalization. So the whole work was about making a study and an assessment on what are best practices uh, in terms of policy and regulation that can hamper or accelerate digitalization in vertical sectors. And so that report is available on the Broadband Commission uh, website. Uh, it contains a lot of recommendations uh, by sector and uh, we are quite uh, sure that um, a lot of countries that are on their way to digitalization can learn a lot from it. It's brilliant. Now, here, we're here at ITU Telecom World 2017, a key event in ITU's calendar. What have you seen or what have you heard here so far that uh, perhaps has inspired you and made you think a little bit more about uh, the world that obviously we live in right now? Yeah, I think the interesting thing is that uh, the themes are, 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 are really relevant here. Uh, I think that the theme of this year uh, related to artificial intelligence, so you get a lot of new thinking about bringing the people together that have some expertise in artificial intelligence. We know that artificial intelligence um, will bring a lot of uh, opportunities, but it also has its challenges that need to be mitigated in time. And so having this forum here, bringing experts together from around the world to talk about these matters is absolutely essential. 
And what's the value for Nokia for, for being involved in events such as this? Yeah, I think the, the value is, is huge because it's an, it's an excellent platform. You have, uh, of course, the, the, the conference sessions, you have the networking, and then you have the exhibitions. So it's a kind of good uh, cocktail, bringing those three things together. And um, associated with the, the very relevant teams, I think it brings a lot uh, for industry like us, Nokia, uh, but also the fact that we are capitalizing on the insights of last year. Uh, so we are just building upon what we learned last year and exchanging further best practices. So I think that brings a lot of value. Well, we hope to build on this year with you next year and uh, we look forward to catching up with you again soon. Mark Fankovanoli, thank you very much for being with us today. Thank you very much. Thank you.